Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my all-time favorite garlic rolls made with whole wheat flour. I'm also showing you the difference between garlic rolls made with whole wheat flour and garlic rolls made with maida or all-purpose flour. Along with this, I'm also showing you how to make garlic rolls in a tawa on the stove top. If you're new to my channel, do check my garlic lacha paratha recipe. Links will be updated below this video. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl, add in half cup tepid water. The water should not be very hot. You can say that the ideal temperature is perfect to bathe a newborn baby. So into the tepid water, I am adding in half teaspoon raw cane sugar. The sugar will help the yeast activate faster. Next, add in half teaspoon instant yeast. Now, when you add yeast, make sure you sprinkle the yeast over the water. Instant yeast need not be proofed like active yeast and can be directly added into the wheat flour. But I'm just making sure that my yeast is good. Now, in about two minutes, you can see that the yeast is getting activated. Add in one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. I'm using Kapli wheat also known as MR wheat in this recipe. However, you can use ordinary whole wheat flour. MR wheat is an ancient wheat grain which has a very weak gluten molecule. So I have added one and a half cups of Kapli wheat flour. Into the flour, add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Mix it lightly with a spoon. You may need two to three tablespoons of extra water to help knead it into a dough. Add in one teaspoon desi ghee and mix it into the dough and knead for about 2-3 to three minutes. Once the dough is kneaded well, cover and let it rest for about 3 hours. Remember that longer resting time is needed with wheat flour. So after 3 hours, the dough has doubled. Let me also show you if maida or all purpose flour is used. You can see how much it has expanded and it will be more airy and soft than normal wheat flour because maida has more gluten and the reason why bread made with maida is more airy and soft okay now back to the wheat flour dough you can see that the dough has fermented i'm lightly kneading it to knock out the air dust some wheat flour and lightly knead it and then roll it out into a rectangle shape Make sure there is enough wheat flour underneath as well to prevent from sticking. Once it has been rolled into a rectangle shape, drizzle in 2 tablespoon desi ghee and spread it all over. I have already finely chopped 2 tablespoon garlic cloves and I am sprinkling it all over the rolled out dough. Next, I am sprinkling in 2 to 3 tablespoon chopped coriander leaves. Also note that I have not rolled out the dough very thinly. Little thickness should be there. Now roll the dough from one end and once it comes into a log, cut into six equal sized rolls. Place the rolls on a greased baking dish, cover and let it rest for another 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, the rolls are doubled. Bake them in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes or until done. Now let's see how you can bake it on a tawa on the stove top. Place the rolls on the greased cast iron tawa. Tie a napkin on the lid to prevent moisture from falling onto the garlic rolls. Place the tawa on the gas stove. Cover it with the lid. Reduce the flame to the lowest and let it cook for about 10 minutes on low flame. After 10 minutes, you can see the moisture on the lid. The cotton napkin prevents the moisture from falling onto the rolls. After 10 minutes, the rolls has swelled up and I hope you noticed the difference between garlic rolls made with wheat flour and garlic rolls made with plain flour. Carefully turn the rolls and then cover and cook for another 6 minutes. After 6 minutes, remove the garlic rolls from the tawa and lightly brush it with desi ghee. Some points to note are, the tawa I used has a rim at the side which actually helps to distribute the heat. Also, cast iron retains more heat, so it gets baked really fast. Okay, now the whole wheat garlic rolls are baked and I'm allowing it to cool down. Note that Kapli wheat has a reddish brown color, hence the color is slightly dark 
than ordinary whole wheat flour. Now those with health issues like diabetes, PCOS can include kapli wheat in their diet. Kapli wheat also has more fiber and is ideal for weight loss and weight management. Do check my videos on kapli wheat to understand more about its health benefits. The rolls made with maida are definitely more softer than the ones made with wheat flour. So guys do try this healthy whole wheat garlic rolls and let me know how it turned out. You can send me pictures on Facebook and on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Stay safe everyone. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.